Hello once again my friends and welcome back to One Credit Classics for this episode 68, the show where it's okay to be planted firmly in the 1980s. So charge up the batteries for your Walkman, grab yourself a Cherry 7 up and come on in. This week we tackle a classic in every sense of the word as we take a look at one of the most notorious arcade titles of all time, Shigeru Miyamoto's Donkey Kong. Released on July the 9th, 1981, three days before our turn one incidentally, this platform was technically the first title to feature Mario although he was originally named Mr. Video, and then Jumpman. This game was actually created when Miyamoto was assigned by Nintendo to convert another game called Radar Scope. Now, Radar Scope was popular for a short period in Japan, so the president of newly founded Nintendo of America placed a large order for it, but by the time the game arrived in New York, months had passed and the buzz surrounding the game had dissipated. American arcade operators were unimpressed, and Nintendo of America was stuck with thousands of unsold units sitting in the warehouse. Nintendo decided on using a new game to install as a replacement in the Radar Scope arcade machines, which could be repainted. This game will be Donkey Kong, Miyamoto's Donkey Kong, and of the 3,000 arcade units that were made, around 2,000 were converted into Donkey Kong machines and quickly sold on. Now, the story of how Miyamoto came up with the name Donkey Kong varies. One false urban myth says the name was originally meant to be Monkey Kong, but was misspelled or misinterpreted. Another story claims that Miyamoto looked in a Japanese-English dictionary for something that had been stubborn gorilla, and that Donkey was meant to convey silly or stubborn. But in the end, Miyamoto himself stated that he thought the name would convey the, that thought of a stupid ape. Beautiful. Your quest in this classic platform is to rescue a damsel in distress called Pauline. I know, right? She sounds like a cleaner. Pauline in this version, but originally just called Lady from a giant ape. Now, if you grew up in the 1980s, it was impossible to go into arcades without seeing Donkey Kong. Many years ago, however, my good friend, Mr. David Letherby, tipped me onto the 2007 film, King of Kong, and I was really enthralled by the mythology surrounded by this machine. Get watching that if you haven't already. Just go on to YouTube and book King of Kong. The whole film's up there, it's incredible. Now, Donkey Kong came out on everything, from the Atari 2600, to the Intellivision, to the Famicom, C64, NES, Amstrad CPC, and even further forward, Donkey Kong Country came out on the SNES, which was a development of that, but the N64, GameCube, and Wii Virtual Console had Donkey Kong on as well. Now, I'm gonna play the Japanese arcade version of Donkey Kong, because that version has all four levels, not just the two, that feature in the American version. Just before we start, I want to say a quick thanks to everyone who supported the channel through Patreon and also Amazon affiliate scheme. The welcome packs to all the patrons should be in the post as you watch this. So if you've become a One Credit Classics patron, check your mail. You should be getting some stuff real soon. If you want to get involved, then click the link and get subscribing. But on to the matter in hand, my friend. It's time for a legitimate bit of monkey magic. Let's wreck this ape, shall we? I'm gonna absolutely wreck this kid. Here he is. Dick move. How high can you get? Well, that's really a different question. So here he is, Mr. Video. So as you can see, uh, central mechanic is, I get 100 points for jumping barrels on this level. The platforms are, uh, pointed like that, like diagonal, so the barrels will roll down. What you've got to be careful of, if you hit a barrel you die, right? Those blue things, those will go into the fire and then they'll come out as fireballs. What you've got to be aware of is it's random if, I can make that, yep. It's random if the barrels go down the ladders or not. Oh, got it. I'll be right there, Pauline. Right, um, now this one, the, uh, kind of cement factory type thing with the custard pies. Yeah, it never made a lot of sense to me that. It's all right. Now this ladder, I should be able to, yeah, there we go. Dead simple that one. However, on the on the harder, as you might imagine, on the harder difficulty settings in terms of when it loops, it just gets ridiculously hard. Where, now nah, this one. Now there's a couple of, th the, what you've got to be careful of that with this is the fact that fall damage can kill you. Like, and a tiny amount can kill you. So if I jump there and landed on that platform, I'd be dead now. I've got to basically wait until this goes to the bottom. See, did a little step then. Any more than that, I would have been dead then. Right, I've got to time this. Go. That's it. Go. Oh. Right, so what happens here is, 
Whenever I jump over those pegs, it disappears. I've got to just get rid of all the pegs, basically. And that will make the scaffolding fall to the ground. Mysteriously, keeping the one with the the lady on the top um, safe. Yeah, I don't get it either myself. I'll be alright. Um, now I've got this hammer here. Um, you can get that at any point. The problem with the hammer is you can't move up or down stairs. Oh, these two might just... No, bollocks. Right, let's see what they do. Let's see, I've cut him off. It's if he goes that way. Hmm. Oh, shit. No, hang on, hang on. I'm back. Right, I can do this. All I need to do is... It depends on what this dickhead does. Go on, go up the ladder. Not my ladder. Jesus. There you go. And that, my friends... Oh, concussion. Is the joy of Donkey Kong no death. Now, one thing I didn't qualify on the thing, obviously it says no death clear on the, uh, the description. If you've seen King of Kong, you'll know the fact that if you play like 34 loops, you get an actual, and it's not even an ending, like it's a, it's called a kill screen. So on the kill screen, basically what it means is that the game runs out of memory. Um, what it does is it just draws a level up and you die halfway through for no reason. Uh, and if you watch uh, the King of Kong, you'll see that's there's the bit where uh, Brian Koo is is like, uh, there's a there's a Donkey Kong kill screen coming up. Well, there isn't on here. All right, because uh, I'm pretty good. Well, I'm not even pretty good. I'm all right at this, but I'm not I'm not kill screen levels. That's a solid performance, however. Well, we've got three lives. Huh. Where now? Oh yeah, Donkey Kong's custard pie factory. Right, yep. Yeah. Um, yeah, I can make that, I think. Shit. Up, up, up. Come on, big fella. Um, oh, this one, right. Ah, oh, tits. That was so bad. As you probably noticed there, which I didn't, the, uh, the, the platforms were a bit faster. That was wank. Right, let's go. Let's try a different tactic. Jump on it. Right. Oh, come on. I can't have been much more than a couple of pixels off getting that. What a load of shit. Right. Um, see, it's all about where the fire's going, you see. There you go. Really? Really? Jesus Christ, this is pitiful. I mean, I'm glad I got. I'm glad I got the no death now, because uh, you can see how much I'm being absolutely jipped by this. Last go as well. God, I hope I make this right. I'm gonna really. Oh shit! There you go. Fucking hell. Oh god, I thought I freaked that. Come on, come on. Right. God, I've got to time this right. That's all right. Go. Oh, shit. Oh, for frick's sake. I mean, what was that like? Five minutes or something? Why am I on there? What the hell? It's bad if you know you can't spell your own friggin' name. Your name was registered. Amazing. And that, my good friends, was a... Uh, a one loop clear of Donkey Kong without dying. I mean, it makes you realize, if you watch King of Kong, it makes you realize just how good those people are when you see people who set records on these classic games. Because um, there's just no, like, there's no margin of error at all. None. Like, I'll be honest with you, like, it looks like I haven't done played a lot there in terms of, you probably looked at that and think, oh, I wonder how long it got into, like, to get to that point, I'll be honest with you, right? A couple of days ago, I flew to Bratislava, right? And I didn't think I was going to make it because I was stuck on the air. I was stuck on the um, plane nearly got cancelled because the snow, right? So me and, um, what was that about? Me and my good friend, Mr. David Letherby, were waiting on this plane to go from Birmingham to Bratislava. And it's, uh, what, like three, it's delayed for three hours. And I'd, beforehand, I'd bought Donkey Kong on the NES for my uh, DS, as I do when I travel now, so I can get games down for clears. And I sat there, and I was waiting for this plane to go, and then 
the runway got closed, and then they had to de-ice the plane. And I just thought, Do you know what? I'm going to play some Donkey Kong. And uh, I must have—I played it for a good two hours without being able to know death it. Like you'd think it was so simple, but it just really isn't. Because there's so many elements of like, I don't know, it's like Brian Cooey when he says like, well, the randomness went the different way that it normally does. Well, not really. That's the whole point of it being random. But uh, but yeah, like it's it's just so like unapologetically unforgiving. It's just absolutely ridiculous. But it is such fun. I mean, I can I could do better than that, to be honest with you. But um, I'm like I wanted to get like a nice uh, a nice kind of. Uh, no death, like one loop. And the good thing with doing stuff like that is it opens up the possibility of coming back to it, trying to get two loops and three loops for achievement runs, do you know what I mean, on, on, on Saturdays. And I'm all about doing that, really. I like going through like the history and, and talking about these games, but it's cool as well like to have uh, games like that, that, that leave you open for kind of playing more. Um, but yeah, it's unbelievable. I mean, the state of that, that was like, for me, like, not a brilliant run, but not a bad run, and we got through it and everything, and what I get? 27,000. I mean, fair enough. When you watch King of Kong and realise that they're barrel farming, do you know what I mean, to get those points, so, like, they're, like, uh, standing at the bottom and just jumping over every barrel just before they go, so you maximise the number of points you can get out of every level. But still, do you know what I mean? When you realise that, like, uh, Steve Weeb hit, like, uh, over a million points, and, like, Billy Mitchell hit, like, 900,000, allegedly, although that record was verified, wasn't it? It was his later ones with the tapes. And the current record's like 1.1 million or something. God almighty, it doesn't even bear thinking about. Um, but that was Donkey Kong. Dig it out, play it. There's so many ways you can play it now. You can probably just play it in a browser, to be honest with you. Because you don't really need a lot of keys. You just need left, right, and jump. Left, right, up, down, and jump. Um, but yeah, oh, it's loads of fun. And uh, let me know how you get on with it. What is it, Wednesday? Of course it is. God almighty, I'm all over the place at the moment. My head's, uh, my head's kind of a bit in the shed. We have had uh, quite the level of support with uh, you lovely people from uh, from patreon i mean that you'd be unhappy with that as a stitch up but yeah um patreon's so cool like um there's a video out or if there isn't one out already i know i'm trying to film one in the next couple of days so if you haven't if it hasn't been explained like tears and things like that it will have done on by the time this video comes out so there's different ways of support and, and basically the more you can pledge the more stuff i'll send you basically to, to, to kind of cut a long story short but what i'm going to do now is play some more video games real but real 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 boil the kettle, not imaginary boil the kettle, real boil the kettle, um, and then figure out what to do next. You take very, very good care of yourselves, and I'll see you very soon for the next episode of One Credit Classics. Take care.